But when I'm in there, a lot of the stuff that we do here gets very emotional, and I think that's what happens in portraiture. An artist, a photographer, a storyteller. Trina Gower, you might say, does capture the soul with the click of her camera. Trina Gower's skills as a photographer and business sense have grown from working at home to recently opening her own business in downtown Dawson Creek. She still specializes in photography, but has added much more. When we moved downtown Dawson Creek, we've changed it into Trina Gower Photography and Image Consulting. Our image consulting is actually an extension of the photography. So we've added different departments, which is our graphic design, our web design, and we also have some writing done by Andrew Bergwand at this time. We're hoping with all the new economy that's popping up around here, people realize what they can get here, what they think they expect in the city. So it's new, we're trying to trailblaze and pave the way of this new concept of image consulting and that it's worth the investment because it's cost of doing business, putting it in the budget and flowing with it. Being a creative person, Trina takes her work straight to the heart. I was featured in the Project Pink's Amazing Grace calendar. That was the breast cancer calendar that we did. That was a big project for me. I absolutely loved that project. It was the one project that kept me really invested in photography. It was sort of the thing that brought me back to humanitarian good deeds. It was very real and very authentic and it served a very good purpose. And just the, the charisma between the, the subjects that I shot and how it evolved basically showed me the power of humans, right? It's the, and the power of kindness. So that was huge for me. I, 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 that, was a, that was a turning point in my life, actually. Capturing a person's true persona can be difficult. For some people, being on the other side of the camera can be petrifying. Each person has their own vibe. That's how I, that's what I think. I can pick up their vibe, I feel what they're feeling, or I can, uh, and I know that sounds kind of funky, but it's true, I, I kind of analyze them visually first, see what they're wearing, see what they look like, see how they stand. And once I figure out what their personality is like, my ultimate goal is to shoot them how they are and how people see them. I ask them, first of all, what is it you don't like about yourself in photos? So for a lot of times, if it's women, they may not like their chin or their butt or something like that. So I go the extra mile to make sure that they don't have those issues in my photos and I work with them. Working with the same people for over a decade, from babies being born to graduating, has given Trina a sense of now and a look into the future. I have um, some of them passing away. So I'm doing their funeral when I shot their anniversary, stuff like that. So I, I'm very interested in that part of life and I, I believe that I'm here being a storyteller for people. I'm just recording their story and I, yeah, I see books, yeah. I have many stories and that is ultimately where I, where I would like to go. Um, I, I think though that I'm not sure if it incorporates in with this particular business or not, but I think writing is definitely in the future. This is Berkeley reporting for Shaw TV in the capital of the peace,